Hi, here's my Python solution to day 22 of Advent of Code 2020. You can read the details, but it's a card game between you and a crab. And you divide the cards into two decks, one for each player. That's your input. And the rules go like this. Each player takes their top card, and then the player with the higher card gets both cards and moves them to the bottom of that player's deck. So here's uh, going through a few rounds of this. Uh, player one plays the first player one card, same for player two. Player one wins the round because nine is higher. So the nine and the five go to the bottom of player one's deck. Player two gets nothing. The game continues as long as both players have cards in their deck. Let's look at the code. Well, coincidentally, a convenient data structure for holding this kind of card deck where you're going to be pulling off the top and putting on the bottom is a deck, D-E-Q-U-E, -E, a double-ended queue. So that's what we're importing from collections. And I've created a type with uh, that's a deck of integers. So it's going to hold these numbers here for each player. We read the test data. Oh, uh, it's test data and then the real data. And that's over here. And then we strip the new line at the end and then split by two carriage returns. So that divides the data into the two parts, one for each player. And uh, let me just show you what that looks like. So let's debug up to this point. And you can see player input down here at the bottom is a list of two elements. One is the data for the first player and one is the data for the second player. And then we create a list of, of deck, where deck is a deck, D-E-Q-U-E, of ints, for each player. So we split each player's data on new lines. We throw away this line with the player uh, name on it. And then we map the strings into integers, and then feed that into deck. OK, let's uh, advance here. I had to push step over several times because I guess there's so much going on here. Uh, so dex now is a list of deck, which is a deck event. And here it is. So here's dex. And there are two double-ended queues, one for each player. Then we have a round number that starts at zero. These variables I just set here to avoid a warning later. And then the while all dex says, while it's true that both decks are not empty. It would be nice if I could say while both decks, but uh, this works the same way. We add one to the round number, and then we, for each deck, we pop off the top card, and we put them in a list of events called drawn cards. So drawn cards now is 9 and 5. So player 1's 9 and player 2's 5. And the decks are now shorter. Uh, then we just put out a little message. You can look in the console over here. You can make that bigger. Round 1, here are the cards that were drawn. Here are the, um, oh, I should change this. These are, I call these decks now. Okay, and now we find the winner and the loser, and drawn cards is this list of two integers, one for player one, one for player two. Player one and player two are sort of the names given outside the program, but since we start counting at zero, we're calling them player zero and player one. So if the drawn card sub-zero, which is the, the nine, uh, is greater than drawn card sub 1, which is the 5, 
then we're going to set winner is zero, loser is one. And now we need to add the two cards in the right order to the bottom of the winner's deck. So that's why we have dex sub winner here. And we append, in turn, the drawn cards in the order of winner, loser. So I takes on the numbers. In this case, um, since winner is zero, loser is one, I is gonna have the values zero and one. So we're gonna add, we're gonna append first drawn cards sub zero, which is the nine, then drawn cards sub one, which is the five. So here we go. We've just added both of the cards to the deck and now we're going on to the second round. So let's look at the decks now. The first player's deck has the nine and the five at the end. And then the game continues until one player wins. So let me put a break point here and we'll talk about what happens here. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Uh, this. Um, okay, so player two won after I think it's 39 rounds, 29 rounds. And now what we have to do, uh, according to the problem statement, is this kind of interesting way of uh, multiplying and summing. So um, the bottom card in the deck is worth the value of the card multiplied by one, the second from the bottom by two, and so on. And so here are these multipliers, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Um, so I thought I would use enumerate on the winner's deck, which would give me numbers from zero to one less than the number of cards in the deck. And then uh, I can use that to multiply against the, um, the card number. So um, first thing I do, I take the, get the deck of the winner and reverse it uh, so that things will be in order when I use enumerate. Um, and then I get the, uh, the number from enumerate, so that's zero to one less than the number of cards. And then the card... And then I multiply them together. So um, we start out with zero. So zero plus one gives us this, and we multiply it by that card. And then two times that, and three times that. And then when we're done, we sum everything. So 306 is the sum of those. Okay, so um, that's that. See you next time.